This is behind the counter at a local Japanese unagi eel restaurant. Good morning everyone, today I'm in Tokyo's Nihonbashi area and I've got a special one for you because I'm taking you behind the counter at a local Japanese unagi eel restaurant. This shop goes back five generations so I can't wait to show you what's going on in the kitchen. All we have to do now is wait for them to arrive. Today I'm taking you deep into the kitchen of Takashimaya, a legendary Tokyo unagi spot tucked away in the streets of Nihonbashi. First opened more than 149 years ago in 1875 in Kagurazaka, this unagi eel specialty restaurant passed down its culinary techniques from generation to generation to perfectly craft their succulent charcoal grilled mouth-watering unagi dish dipped in their secret signature sauce, which remains unchanged through the years. Good morning! Nice to meet you. Are you usually the first one to come in? So the first thing he does is bring in the fresh eels delivered alive early every morning. Oh, there's more? How much do you get every day? Wow, the unagi freshwater eels are quite lively. Don't they swim away? Can't blame them, right? Before filleting, he ices them to slow them down, a standard preparation technique performed in Japan. The shop uses a special Kyosui Unagi from the Shizuoka prefecture. Raised in the underground water of its southern alps, it's known for its uniquely sweet aroma with five times more DHA and EPA when compared to wild eels. Breeded in limited quantities, it's earned its name in Japan as the phantom eel. Although eel has been eaten for more than 5,000 years, in Japan, the most common way to eat unagi is by filleting it, skewering it, and then grilling it, which gained popularity during the Edo period. Interestingly, in Tokyo, eels are cut from the back, while in western regions of Japan, they're cut from the stomach. The Tokyo technique dating again back to the Edo period, the area itself known as the City of Samurais viewed cutting the stomach as bad luck, as they associated it with seppuku, an honorable ritualistic suicide by this Embowelment. He's the owner, Oshio san. Good morning. Nice, one more worker is here. So, do you work every day? Oh, what do you do on Sundays? Do you have a favorite spot in Japan? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, you have a Japanese wife too? How did you two meet? Oh, that's a nice story. What? You must miss her. Good for you. Hey, can I ask what you're doing? Have you worked here for a long time? Oh cool, you're a rookie! He actually started at the shop as a part-time worker while he was studying at culinary school, learning the basics of Japanese cuisine, and was hired full-time after he graduated. Making the shop's rice is one of his morning tasks, as it's a crucial part of their menu, as it literally lays the foundation of their unagi dish. The shop prepares about 20 kilograms per day, using a special yume gokochi rice from Tochigi Prefecture, known for its stickier and sweeter flavor, perfectly complementing their light unagi sauce. Oh, hello again. So when did you start working here? Oh, 
場所を作ってって。Oh, did you expect to be the owner? ね、ちっちゃい頃からね、あとを継ぎなさいっていうので言われてたんで。So what are you gonna do now? みんなの仕事を見たら、あとは事務仕事。Oh, you don't work in the kitchen so much these days? 最近はもう全然やんない。<笑> okay. <笑> As the owner responsible for continuing on this historical restaurant and his family's legacy, he's learned that management is as important as serving their delicious unagi, making extra efforts to provide a good working environment for his workers while also creating a positive and welcoming atmosphere for his customers. So, how old are you? Jeez, you're so young. So, what do you do when you're not working here? You must love sake. Do you have a favorite sake from Yamanashi? Oh, I'm gonna try it. So, have you ever made your own sake? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Around 9 a.m., more chefs arrive and quickly get to work. I guess his first task is to prepare the shop's miso soup. Even though it's a simple side dish that comes with their set meal, the chef carefully ensures that it meets the shop's consistent taste each and every day. That knife looks special. <laughs> looks expensive. <laughs> How much was it? Damn, that's premium. So, have you been doing this for a long time? Wow, all the time here? He says that he belongs to an organization of authorized chefs and was assigned to work at different restaurants. This system is called Haken and is a very common hiring style in Japan. By the way, you're super fast. <laughs> For sure. Are there any tips when filleting the unagi? Ah, I see. So, how old are you? Oh, do you have a family? Nice. How old are your kids? Oh, do you have a hobby? <laughs> you have a wife, though. So, where do you drink? Like snack bars? And your wife is okay with it? Ah, okay. Wow, you can drink. What did you do yesterday then? Oh no! Now the young chef prepares the charcoal. The shop mainly uses binchotan, a premium Japanese white charcoal known for its steady and long flame, which is easy to adjust with a fan. It also creates minimal smoke, ensuring that it doesn't produce undesired flavors. In select Japanese unagi shops, there's a special delicacy offered known as kimo, unagi intestines. It's limited in quantity and considered a premium dish, sometimes eaten in soup, broiled dishes, or skewered like this. Nice! The filleted unagi are finally skewered and ready to be charcoal grilled. The chef skewers the unagi so quickly and efficiently that it seems effortless, but apparently it's a skill that can only be mastered over time, as the skewer must precisely thread the middle of the stiff unagi fillet between the outer skin and the meat. There's even a known saying in Japan amongst unagi chefs, 3 years to master skewers, 8 years to master filleting, and to master grilling takes a lifetime. So, have you been here a long time? Wow, are you the oldest worker? <laughs> Is it the same now since the previous owner? I see. Oh, right! The chef is preparing the grill now. This is called shirayaki, directly translated to white grill. And this is the first step of the cooking process. The grilled unagi will be steamed after this and then go into the final grill, dipped into their signature tare sauce several times to achieve the perfect coating and flavor. 
Is there anything you need to be careful of at this point? Ah, I see that. Have you burnt it before? Although it's only the chef's first year, he's already tasked with the pre grill duties. In Japan, the road to becoming a master chef is a lifelong journey where traditionally new chefs are expected to learn by observation without formal training. However, this chef seems to have earned his way quicker than most. As the shop's owner has put in place formal training methods to skill up his workers as efficiently as possible. There's a lot of side dishes. Oh, okay. Have you worked here for a long time? Oh, how long? Nice. And do you have kids? Cool. How old are they? Oh, they're not kid kids. So what do they do? Nice. Do you have other kids? <laughs> and what do you do in your free time? Oh, what do you have? How many do you have? Eight birds? <laughs> Must be noisy. <laughs> do you live nearby? Okay, that's why you work here. <laughs> ah, that's cool. The shirayaki eels are now in the steamer. Okay, so this video is making me a little bit hungry, so I wanted to take a snack break and tell you about the sponsor of this video, Sakuroko, who want to invite all of you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home through their snack boxes. It's a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that literally supports local Japanese snack makers, each box coming with 20 traditional authentic artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese tea and even special Japanese tableware. It's cherry blossom season right now in Japan, my allergies are kicking in, but what better way to celebrate than with a theme box Night of Sakura. Sakura can be enjoyed not only during the day but at night as well under Japan's moonlight known as Yozakura. You get this dope book to learn about the snacks, allergen info, and even Japanese culture. And this month's Yozakura box has some Sakura inspired hitters which y'all can try for yourself such as the Sakura cream cookies, Sakura castella, Sakura mochi, Sakura cashew nuts, Sakura yokan, just to name a few. So get your own box today or even gift a loved one and experience Japan from the comfort of your own home and use my links below as well as my code. Oh, the Okami is here. She's the wife of the owner and the lady that runs the restaurant. 15 minutes before the shop opens, the kitchen noticeably gets even busier. On the second floor, the Okami arranges flowers for the private rooms. So do you wear kimono every day? So did you ever think you'd become an Okami at an unagi restaurant? <laughs> She says that it's been 10 years since she started working as the Okami, despite being married for 15 years. Apparently, they had trouble finding nurseries so she couldn't start right away, a common struggle shared among parents in Japan. One of her primary responsibilities is to take care of their customers, ensuring that each one has a delightful experience. She says that the most challenging part is being able to read and anticipate each person's needs in order to deliver a fully satisfying experience. But when she sees them smile, she knows that every effort she made was all worthwhile. So, do you do anything else outside of work? Oh, which beach do you go to? That's awesome! Before the restaurant opens, the chef starts to grill the unagi for deliveries. Isn't your hand hot? Yeah, it's easy. 
暑いけど暑い暑いってやつらかっこ悪いから<笑> That's true So in the final process the steamed unagi are dipped into their signature tare sauce and then grilled over the charcoal At this restaurant they repeat this three times First dip colors the unagi The second dip flavors it And finally the third dip creates a delectable glossy coat The steaming process is designed to plump and air the unagi while also serving to extract excessive oils, while the final grilling produces a slightly crispy texture on the outer layer, yet the inner unagi meat remains soft and perfectly melts in your mouth. By the way, why did you choose to work at an unagi shop as your career? Oh, does he still do it? That's amazing. Why don't you two work together? Ah, that makes sense. Ah, Oshio san is setting tables for a reservation. So, what was your dad like? やってた方で戦争も経験しましたしその当時疎開しなきゃいけない時はうなぎのタレを持って防空壕に入って逃げたっていうのを聞きましたね Wow, we seriously protected the business So is there gonna be a sixth generation in the family? 今6代目が今小学5年生でいますけれども将来うなぎ屋になるって言ったかと思えば YouTuber になるって言ったり将来は多分でもやってくれると思います Ah, he's still young He mentions that the most challenging aspect of his role is preserving his family's legacy as even though it's an established business with With 149 years of history, maintaining a consistent taste while effectively managing workers requires a lifelong dedication and openness to continue to learn. You like sake? Interesting. I'll try for sure. So, what do you do in your free time? Apparently, he's the president of his kids' elementary school PTA and the vice president of his other kids' junior high PTA. You must be busy. At 11 a.m., the restaurant is finally in business. Soon, many office workers and businessmen fill the restaurant. Apparently, since the shop has many private dining rooms, they're often used as a place to host business meetings. As soon as the shop opens, the kitchen gets extremely lively, and the chefs work to fill orders as quickly as possible. Before noon, the tables are fully seated and the restaurant air is filled with the irresistible sweet and savory aroma of the shop's tare sauce cooking over the charcoal grill. Meanwhile, in the back of the kitchen, chefs are already preparing their makinai, lunch provided by the shop to their workers. Excuse me, do you come here often? Hi. Oh, how often do you come? I see, and how long have you been coming here? So, what do you recommend? Ah, and what sets this unagi shop apart from others? Great, thank you. Hello, can I ask you a few questions? So, do you come here often? <laughs> ah, okay, and how long have you been coming here? <laughs> ah, so do you work around here? <laughs> ah, and why do you like the unagi here? <laughs> Thanks! Are you done? So how was business today? <laughs> ah, they pile up, huh? <laughs> 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 
After the workers clean up the kitchen and prepare the charcoal grill for dinner, they finally have their makanai meal together. It's almost like a second family here. <laughs> How's the meal? <laughs> and that's another one in the books. If you want to visit this place for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. So that's behind the counter at a local Japanese unagi shop. If you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the merch. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.